Off to school with a wave, pretty much like any seven-year-old anywhere in the world. But little Martunus here is special, a living lesson for us all that we must never give up hope. Separated from his family in the murderous chaos of the tsunami, he was found by a Sky News crew 20 days later. Dehydrated and dazed, Martunis was rushed to the British-based charity Save the Children. Gently washed. Given clean clothes. And then, miraculously, this. A family reunion. His father had survived as well and the pair were together again. The plight of Martunis touched the heart of Portugal and the Portuguese Football Association. Rescued wearing a Portuguese soccer strip, they sent him shirts and photographs and his father money to buy land for a new home. Happier now, Martunis, though, still dreams of his lost mother. In my dream, he says, I see my mother again. She gives me fried banana. In reality, that's never going to happen for Martunis, although he's luckier than some. By the standards of Band Ache, Martunis is indeed a very lucky little boy indeed. In this one encampment, I'm told, there are more than a hundred children who lost both parents to the tsunami. Families take the burden. 53-year-old Domawati here, widowed by the tsunami, now cares for Muraliska, the four-year-old daughter of a distant relative. In panic, Muraliska's mother bundled her baby into the arms of a motorcyclist, she says. Together they escaped the tsunami. Mother and father have never been seen again. And in the life of little Mohammed Mirza, tragedy from the tsunami took the lives of three generations. The three-year-old toddler now cared for by his surviving aunt Naraini. All shattered families, together building a new life. Richard Bestick, Sky News, Bandache. Richard Bestick, Five News, Bandache.